last chance cook-off. Mm -hmm. And we are going to get wood smoking and ready for tomorrow's smoking challenge. Yep. So excited about the alligator. What are you? Yes. Do you want to take you? You were like buffalo or bison. 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 Not buffalo. I don't have buffalo. No, there's not African buffalo. It's American bison. So, which which would you prefer to eat? Bison. Of the two meats we got. Bison. bison. So we're gonna probably chunk it up and do some different things with it. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Sure. I think we should do some smoked mac and cheese as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe and some vegetables of some sort. Maybe. All right. Follow us along. Yep. Here. Hey, Chris and Larry family. So you saw the intro. We've chosen two pretty amazing meats for our smoking last hashtag last chance cook off um, video. Now what we've done is we've gone ahead and gotten both of these meats in a brine to soak overnight. We're doing a brown sugar, salt, and water brine for both of these meats. We've got alligator here, and we have um, American bison here. And we're gonna be wrapping that American bison in some bacon and before we throw it on the, on the smoker tomorrow. So we're gonna let these sit overnight and then in the morning, I'm gonna get up and soak our um, apple wood. We're actually gonna use apple wood for this and get started on that. So check out the video. Hey, Chris and Larry family. So it is September 1st and I am participating in the last chance cook-off. Now at the beginning of this video, you saw some of the things that we're doing. We went ahead and picked up some alligator and some American bison. And we're gonna use an old Brinkman. There you go. Um, this was gifted to us. Um, normally we use an electric uh, smoker that my dad has on his house on the other side of our farm here. And I decided I wanted to go ahead and do this on my own. Um, so I'm not getting grandpa's help. So what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and soak for the next hour our uh, wood chips that we're gonna be putting in here and bowl. We're gonna fill it with wood chips and we are gonna get those soaking. In the meantime, I'm gonna run to the store because I realized I was missing lemons and I need some lemons for my alligator. So I'm gonna go run to the store while these are soaking and then we'll get back on and get our smoking starting. Okay, the wood chips that I decided to go ahead and get were the Whiskey Barrel Smoking Chips. Now these are amazing. My local tractor supply, I shouldn't say local, it's 30 minutes away, but they do carry these. And these are old oak aging barrels that have whiskey in them. And this is gonna give that bison some pretty amazing flavors. Question. What are you doing? I am putting cream cheese in this bowl. Putting cream cheese in the bowl, and what are we doing with the cream cheese? Do you remember? Mixing it with sausage. Uh, yep, yeah. we've got some, we've got two of the andouille sausage. We're gonna mix two blocks of cream cheese. We're gonna split our alligator. We've got two alligator and a bison piece of meat here. We're gonna split the alligator in half and fill it with cream cheese. Hey, Chris and Larry family. So we've got our meats out. I've got two um, pieces of uh, alligator and one tenderloin uh, piece of American bison. We've got two sausages, and dually sausages that we've picked up. And I've got about a pound of thick cut bacon. Now, sounds kind of crazy all this meat we're doing together, but it's actually gonna be two different meat dishes. The alligator we're going to slice in half. We're gonna mix cream cheese, the andouille sausage, and some lemon seasoning. And we're gonna stuff those before we put them into the smoker. With the bison, we're gonna go ahead and uh, lather it with some finishing butter and then wrap that with the bacon and that'll go into the smoker. Then we're also doing a couple side dishes. We're doing a smoked green chili mac and cheese as well as some green beans and onions. Is it a struggle? What are you doing? Oh, they got a glove. Why are you putting on glove? Yeah, and you're gonna hand mix that with 
cream cheese. A block of cream cheese. And what are we doing with the sausage cream cheese mixture? Um, I don't remember. We're oh, gonna bison. Nope. No. Start again. Alligator. We're gonna stuff it inside the alligator. I know we've got two different meats with two different dishes going on here, but how could you pass up when you find both American bison and American alligator at one specialty shop? Okay, so you're taking the casings off. Yes. And you're mixing it in here, and you're gonna mix that with your hands. Yes. Okay, so and what do you do? Slicing it down. Okay. Then taking the casing off. Okay. Isn't the casing edible? No. It is. It is, but it, that's when you're making it as a big sausage, like a sandwich sausage, versus squishing it all together. Well, all right. Nicely. That's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and squish it in with your cream cheese, and I will add some seasoning. I know. It's so sad. Oh, Your sausage and cheese mixture with your lemon pepper. And we're using, what are we using here? We're using one that we use often on chicken. Uh, we use the other seasoning by the same brand. Okay, so, so Kinder's chicken. lemon pepper is what we're using on the alligator. Yeah. Um, and what we've done is, oh, I've gone ahead and sliced this alligator. It, it was a filet like this. So I sliced it in half, so we made it into a boat for both pieces. And this is where we're gonna stick the cheese and the sausage. And then I've got some um, manchango, which is a sheep's milk cheese. And we're gonna slice that up and put some of those slices in along with some lemons, some sliced lemons on top. Okay, so we've got the two alligator fillets. And um, oh yeah, and Jackson's like, mmm, alligator. Um, so we've got those stuffed with the, the sausage and cream cheese mm -hmm. along with that seasoning. You do have a little bit of extra. I'm glad we didn't use two bricks of cream cheese. That's what we had expected yeah. to use. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and season the outside of the alligator with that lemon pepper seasoning. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna slice lemons and put it on top and get this ready. Yeah. Along with some of that sheep cheese. Yeah. Okay, so Rome, what are you doing right now? Seasoning the sides and the bottom of the alligator. We probably should have done that before we stuffed it, but yeah. that's okay. We are too focused on the amazing smelling cream cheese meat. Yeah, the meat mixture, the sausage mixture just smells really good. Yep, go ahead and just get as much as you can on the side. And if you need some more, we can put some more on. Yeah, we got some all over. All right. So this is gonna set on foil since there is cheese in it. And we've got lemon slices to put on top and that's just gonna give this a more citrusy flavoring. Um, here, are you helping? You're not helping. Yeah. You're in the way. Oh no. Oh, you lost your cheese. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on foil in foil boats and leave it open faced. And that way it um, can still get all the smoke. We're not sealing anything, but it's not gonna drip cheese into the smoker. No. Okay, so the cheese and sausage stuffed alligator is ready to go on the smoker. And I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the American bison. Now bison is a lot like beef, but it doesn't have quite as much fat. So we're actually going to be using a finishing butter. And this is butter that has been mixed with some herbs and some lavender and a few other things. And this finishing butter we get at our specialty shop, but you can make this on your own as well. You just have to find the right seasoning that you want in your butter. We're gonna lather the top of the, the bison um, with the butter and then I'm wrapping it with some thick cut bacon. Okay, so I, I am adding the butter. I'm actually gonna put some scrape marks in here to get some of that butter into the meat. Um, and this is, like I said, is an herb infused and it's got lavender and other herbs in it. And this is a finishing butter. And I'll actually use this on a loaf of sourdough bread as well later um, and get that all stuffed in. But we're just adding this to add a little extra fat into this meat because once it smokes, it'll juice down and it'll taste really good. So I'm gonna start with that. Now the next part that I am gonna do is I've got thick cut bacon. And I'm gonna lay this thick cut bacon down and we're gonna wrap the bison in the bacon. 
Now the easiest way to do this is to just take your bacon and overlap it on your cutting board and then lay your bison down on it. and you can see how many pieces it's gonna take. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip it all over. We're gonna line it up all on one side, flip it over and we're gonna turn the meat and roll it so that all the bacon is covering in different spots here. These are kind of odd shaped pieces of bacon too. We got some juice there. I'm gonna get rid of that. I think you might need one more right I'm here. I'm thinking I do need one more too. See, with everybody's a critique. With lemon pepper that I definitely did not drop. That's all right. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and keep wrapping. We wanna make sure that the bison is completely covered as is the butter on here. And then once this is done, we're just gonna put this on a piece of aluminum foil and we're gonna make kind of a little a boat out of it and this is gonna put go into the smoker just like this but this is so that the butter does not drip down into the smoker it'll actually just stay in here and re uh, reconstitute into the bacon thank you you're welcome All right, Riley, so what are you doing right now? Put the in the smoker. Okay, and what are you putting in the smoker? Uh, we got our bison with, wrapped in bacon with yes. that herb and garlic butter or whatever it is. Yes. And then we got the alligator with the sausage and the cream cheese and the lamb cheese and lemons and lemon pepper seasoning. <laughs> Good job. Whoa. All right, so we're smoking up nice. Oh, the tray's right there. Nope, that's oh, the base tray. Okay. So go ahead and put those right in here. You can see we've got quite a bit of smoke coming out. Okay, we'll bring this over here. Okay, and she's gonna keep these in a boat. Lay this way. Yep. This way. Just lay it straight down right there. Now we're gonna be smoking everything for dinner tonight because for me as a mom of eight, it is a lot easier. And I do have one of my adult kids and their significant others coming over. Griffin and his girlfriend Kelly are coming for dinner as well. And then what else are we gonna be putting in the smoker? Green beans, mac and cheese, and that's all I know. Yeah, green beans, we're gonna do green bean and garlic and put that in here. And then we're gonna do mac and cheese with green chilies and we'll put two trays of that in. Does that work? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so Rowan has got some soaked, um, it's, what are they? They're amazing. They're oak barrels uh, with whiskey. So uh, we got two different things, so I don't remember. Yeah, no, this is the oak barrels. We also have apple that we use for some other things, so for, for chicken especially. Uh, um, but she's gonna go ahead and put these. These have been soaking for about three hours now. Are they good to just go in? Yep, just throw them right on the coals. And this will get that smoke going. And you can see our coals are not quite to where I'd want them to be, but they are, the briquettes are starting to cook down. So I just put a couple, another batch over on this white side over here. There we go. And that's gonna add some different you smoke in. Right yeah, you sure can. And then this will give us some extra smoke and we're gonna close this up. Um, the, the temperature on the gauge is saying that it's about 130 degrees right now. Um, so it's not terribly hot yet, but, but it it'll will get be, there. It will be for six hours. Yeah, we're gonna be doing this for six hours and we will take the temperature of the meat and everything. We're gonna save the rest of these okay. for in a little while because we're gonna need those. But we're gonna close this back up. I'm gonna go set a timer for 90 minutes and come back out and check everything. Yep. Hey, Chris and Larry family. So we have been smoking this meat for about three hours now. We're gonna leave it in for a whole nother hour or so. Four hours or hour and a half, depending on what it looks like. We also added in our bacon, macaroni and cheese. That could be used as a regular meal or as a side dish. We're using it as a side dish. Um, but Rowan's gonna go ahead and open this up. We're maintaining about 200 degrees. That's what the, the thermometer says. We just reloaded and got it smoking up again, but we'll show you what we've got going on here. So there are the two bits of the American alligator 
and there is in the back here is the American bison and you can see it is just bubbling and beautiful and then the aluminum foil over the, the mac and cheese has, has turned to color so you can see so we've got mac and cheese in there that we're just getting a smoky flavor to and then down below we have a second mac and cheese with no bacon oh, and no. wait yeah and a okay. green bean right I think green bean so this is looking amazing. We're gonna keep this in for at least another hour and then I'll do a thermometer check on it. Well, it's hot enough the juice is boiling. It is, the juice is, it's juicing. Underneath the lemon, it's lemon. Now, last night before I went to bed, we soaked all of these in a brine. We did a third of a cup of salt, a third of a cup of brown sugar, and what, four cups of water? Know and oh. just covered all the meat. Then we put the meat in the refrigerator in trays covered with aluminum foil so that it's soaked for a good 12 hours before we put it in the smoker. Now that brine is gonna keep that moisture in and in a little while we may just cover up everything and, and get it going, but it's looking really good. We are constantly adding to our fire. You can see I've got some more wood in here. It's nice and smoky. Um, charcoal, this is the smoking charcoal. We use the Cowboy brand. This is a wood-based charcoal for smoking. And then, like I said, we, we did the um, whiskey barrel, plus uh, we've added some apple chunks in there just to keep that going. So in a little while, we will be done and having a feast. Whisker. Are you ready? Whisker. With Griffin, yeah, your older brother and his girlfriend are coming. Are you excited? Oh, me for that. Oh, yeah, Cowboy Brand Apple. Those are the chunks that we're using, as well as the um, whiskey. All right, you ready for dinner? It smells... All right, you guys, so this smells amazing. So we've got the alligator right here. We've got bison wrapped in bacon right here, and there's another piece of alligator here. We're a little toasty on the top, but oh my... There's some smoked green beans and some smoked mac and cheese. So let's cut through this. Okay, so the bison just sliced right through, as you can see. There's the bacon on top and it's just juicy and yummy. And the alligator, you can see the cheese spilled and it is just amazing. roll your eyes at me yep and he's a professional you're a professional eye roller okay so that is bison bison that is american bison that we buttered and wrapped in bacon bacon makes bison better and then it's smoked for like five hours how's it taste very good all right now you want to try the alligator that is alligator. Okay. That is cheese, the cream cheese. What was in the mac and cheese? Bacon, the leftover bacon. Okay. And the leftover alligator stuffing. Okay. <laughs> Everything, we used it all. Okay, so this is alligator. <laughs> oh, it cooled off finally. Oh, yeah. It's not juicy anymore at the bottom. So this is alligator and it's stuffed with a Cajun sausage and cheese mixture and then covered with lemon. What do you think? Which one do you like better, the bison or the alligator? I think I like the gator better. I like the gator better too. Yep. Which one did you like better? Gator. What about you, Kelly? I like the bison. 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 All right. So this was our challenge, our last chance cook-off challenge. We had to do outdoor cooking. We have a second video, bonus video, they'll be dropping at the end of the month that we're doing some solar oven cooking. But this was smoked. Oh, this was smoked with aged barrels with whiskey. Oh. Aged whiskey barrels on top of it. Whiskey barrels. See, you come home from See, work and this is what you do. Here. How was it? Tipsy gator. Very good. Different, but it's not like... 
or anything. You know, well, like, I would hope so. Your people, wife cooked people it. People tend to think of something different and turn their nose up at it, but no, it's very good. Amazing. I'd do it again. Excellent. Bye for now. Bye for now. So what are you enjoying there? Good. Did you stick a green bean up your nose? Oh, you're filming. I'm No, I was doing a film to taste the alligator. No, that's alligator. Chickeny. It is chickeny, but it tastes really good smoked with cheese. And that's bison. Bison. It doesn't taste like a cow, it tastes like bison. So, was it worth me cooking all day and slaving for you? Yes, yes it was. What is that base? I'm trying the alligator first. Okay. That's the one that looks like chicken. It does, okay. It tastes like chicken. It does. Okay, and try the bison. You're using your fingers there, dude. It's yes. so tender. You're supposed to. Which one do you like better? Bison. Bison? Okay. What did you just try? Alligator. Mm. Okay. How's it taste? I don't know. I you don't know, know? how I feel about it. Okay, what about the bison? I think I didn't even get alligator. Be honest. Oh, did you just get the cheese on the, so. the sausage? Excellent. Okay. I'm gonna get bison. That just is falling apart. You can use the big knife? Yes. Okay. Okay, try it. Which one do you prefer? Bison. Bison, not alligator. All right, what are you getting? What are you doing? What did he say? That's cool. Bye, say bye for now. Bye for now.